so we get some quick footage. Okay, you can start that one. Hey everybody, it is your girl Kimberly Reese, uh, Reese Incorporated in Autism. Uh, stop it. Hey everybody, it's your girl Kimberly Reese uh, from Reese Incorporated and Urban Penetrate Autism from Cincinnati, Ohio. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I'm finally here in Tema, Ghana, West Africa with Baba Inchel from Hope Setters Autism Center. We've been talking about being here uh, for months. We've been trying to do fundraisers. I've been coming to you guys for live. We've done auctions. Um, and now we're finally here. So, yay! I'm so, so happy to be here with you. I can't tell you how happy I am to be here with you. Um, so before we go into detail, a lot of our uh, viewers people know about you because we've sent a lot of stuff out. We've put stuff out on social media. We've done other videos. But I want you to tell me from your perspective what it is to uh, have this program. What made you want to start Hope Center's Autism Center. Good morning, and thank you, Kimberly, for coming here. It's 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 a pleasure to see you finally here in Hope Center. So, um, I am somebody who is very passionate about um, how other people feel and all that. And so, as as a social entrepreneur, I realized the need for a center like that in Tema. so close to home for them and it will be easy for them to also have access to services. Yeah. And so that's how I came about. Yes. And those of you who are not familiar with Ghana, Ghana is huge, number one. And then Tema is an hour's drive or so, depending on traffic, from Accra, Accra to, to Tema. So it's, I can see why that would be a concern of children getting to Accra to get those services. They should be able to come right here. So we were able to tour the place. It's beautiful. This is your new location. Yes, yes. And then we also saw in some footage of your old location. So you've got children coming. You've got adults coming. You have services you're providing. Let's talk about the real issues here, what we're dealing with right now currently. The real issues are COVID-19 and how COVID has affected many organizations like yours that are not government funded or, you know, as as they say here, NGO. Tell me how that has put a kind of a, a halt on what you do here. In fact, the COVID um, coming in has put a halt on almost everything that we do. So we can't come to school. Um, we, we can't do all our programs. Before, just before the COVID, we're going to have a massive walk to create awareness in Tamar and which was coming off in April and we had to we had done all the publicity and everything we just had to um, put it to a halt um, we can do fundraising again we're going to raise funds for us to start our own building we can't do it any longer uh, my staff can't be paid because if the children are not coming to school to be able to uh, pay the token that they pay to be able to access the services then it means I'm not even able to pay my staff and so I ended up losing a few of my staff because they also need to make yeah. ends meet. And and for me as an individual, it was it just stopped me in my tracks with everything that I had planned for the year. And I some of my students too were getting um, agitated being in the house because it was a sudden break in their usual routine. And so we had to also reach out to these families. And um, thankfully we had Evan and uh, families for autism who came in to also support weekly to be able to um, support some of our families who are in need. And as, as at that time, you could tell that every family really appreciated the bit that we gave them because um, we, are, we are not in normal times. Yeah. Yes. 
Well, I know that um, Urban Parents for Autism, we tried to do stuff every week, and we were sending money, and we had a liaison here. Um, our uh, men such to come and bring the, the goods, and it was just a small drop in the bucket, though. I know it was not enough, and so that's why we're here. That's why we're here, because, uh, because I'm here for my own personal reasons. But uh, to be here, because of course, as you know, I've told you that I have children with autism, yes. and it is my heart. Um, however, I think what needs to be communicated is that the need is great. It's greater than what you see. Um, people just assume that the community is going to come together and to provide, but that's not always the case. So you've had to lay off uh, some of your workers. They have to find other jobs. I know you have people volunteering as well, but they can't continue doing that. So let's talk about the vision of the new building. And then once you get the, and even right here, let's talk about right here, what you need here right now. And then let's talk about the vision of the new building, what you need eventually. Okay. So for here, it's, it's yeah, like you can see, it's a big place. And we need to set up our playground area. It's just the bare ground. And so we want to have um, an artificial carpet down on the ground so when the children are playing they can't get all muddy now that it's raining and then they also want to get heads to just to fall on the bare ground so we need to set up our, our playground area we, we are talking about functional skills for our young adults and so we need a gas cooker in the kitchen we have a fridge somewhere and we need a gas cooker and a few kitchen stuff so that we'll be able to really teach the children who have interest in those functional skills when it comes to cooking and baking and then, uh, for us to also, when it comes to administration, we, we need we need to be able to sp uh, sponsor some of our children who are needy but still come to the center. Yeah. So we have a few students like that. And for a center like Hope Centers, we can't keep on cushioning that it runs the center down. And so we, we have a scholarship scheme where we, we tell people to kind of donate into so that we're able to support these children. Of course, because we want every child that comes here to have the maximum support that is there for them, then it means we need to bring in a lot more professionals like ABA therapists, speech and language therapists, occupational therapists, etc., to come in and support the children alongside the facilitators that we, we have. And all these professionals need to be paid. Yes. Yes. And so um, we have all these things together. And once we are able to put all things together we know that the center can run smoothly now we have space to get more and more children but then we need to put all these things in place so that we able to run perfectly so we've got to have programming programming is key we need sponsors for the children who can't afford to pay here and i think you shared with me that some of the parents are uh, they pay for their kids to come but some aren't able to do that yes, that's right. and because of covid covid has kept parents from working, so therefore their children can't come to get the service they need. It's like a, a catch-22, it's like a vicious cycle um, that needs to be broken. So so I think um, what we want to do is to make sure that Hope Centers gets exactly what it needs as an organization. We want to be able to equip Baba to be able to provide the services needed for the children that come here uh, and their families. Um, I know that uh, when we've brought things, you've actually given some of the food items to your staff because they weren't being paid. So, you know, that, that's that's only a drop. You can't, they can't live off of that. No, that's right. They need to be have, have money. They need to have. So I believe that we are very, very uh, blessed. And I think because of our blessings, we should be able to support our community and give back in the way that we can. So um, I'm so excited about your vision. Um, as you all see behind here, there are some pictures of some of the things um, and some of the services that are provided, some of our staff, um, and there are beautiful people here, wonderful, loving, and you can see they connect with the children and the individuals that, that come here for services. So we want to make sure that we can help in any way that we can. So, but Baba, thank you so much for sitting down and talking with me. You are wonderful and God bless you for what you are doing here and your vision and your heart for wanting to, 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 to do this. A lot of people can't do it. There's a saying that, you know, many are uh, called but few are chosen, that's right. So you're a chosen one thank you. to do this. And so I appreciate you. 
all the way from the USA uh, for doing this here and then of course allowing us to come in. So thank you again. And everyone, we will see you all soon. Thank you for watching.